Hey guys, Sarah from Sweet Sums from the Dollhouse. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning waxy, as always, welcome back. I apologize, this isn't a rat. Can't even talk. This isn't a wax related video today. Today I am doing a Marshalls haul. Um, mostly because for Gracie's 14th birthday, she asked me to do a bedroom makeover. Um, my kids get, like, bedroom makeovers all the time, unfortunately. Perhaps a little bit more often than what they should. They're a tad bit spoiled that way. Um, but when we bought this house and moved in, neither one of them really knew what they wanted to do this time for, like, a theme for their room. I think, it, well, I guess I shouldn't say theme. By and by, they're way too old for themes-ish, but... Gracie wanted to totally switch it up, so we are going to do a video, like of a before and after of her room. We got it all cleaned out last night and taped, so we're going to start painting this weekend. But I'm going to show you the things that I purchased for Gracie's birthday slash bedroom makeover, and you'll see all of these coming up. When you see her final room complete, but this is the lamp. Oh, by the way, this is just like all strictly from Marshalls. Um, she wants to go with like a really simple white, silver, green kind of wood earthy accents. So we thought that this was a perfect lamp, kind of funky leafy pattern. It was only 20 bucks at Marshall's. So this will either go on her bedside or yeah I think as a bedside lamp would be best. I think for her desk she's gonna need something a little bit better than that. Uh, what else? Oh we got a bed for Lux. Because um, if you've seen my cat, we have a hairless sphinx, and he's the most annoying creature to sleep with on the planet. So we got him a bed of his very own. Hopefully he'll go inside. Oh, it's so squishy in there. Like, I want to sleep in there. He's the most annoying cat to sleep with because he's constantly looking for warmth. So he's either, like, underneath your blankets with you, or he'll sleep across your neck. Oh, Wake up in the middle of the night suffocating because of the cat. Hold on. Uh, the next thing we got was this, I don't know, I guess you could use it as a candle holder or even a plant holder. Kicking myself in the butt because Bath & Body Works has the most adorable, like, rose gold three-wick candle holder right now. That would fit perfectly on top of this, but how cute is that? It's like white cactus. By the way, everything that you see here is $19.99, $19.99, $19.99. Super cheap. And look at like this is gorgeous. It's um like a poly resin. It's so nice. And just plain white. So I think it will go awesome with her theme. And by the way, this cab bed doesn't really match Grace's room at all. It's just we got the cat a bed, and it will be just kind of wherever in the house he likes it best. What else? Uh, there's more room makeover stuff here. I know it. Where is it? Ooh, she needs more picture frames. Luckily, her last bedroom theme was white, gray, and like a coral color. So some of the items that she has will be able to integrate into like the new design. So that's lucky. We got her another picture frame. Lots of good stuff. A fake plant. Actually, I think this picture frame was, yep, $7.99. A 
fake plant for $9.99 and then it's going to incorporate the wood. Um, I'm not sure if you could see this like barn board floor. Grace has the same type of flooring in her bedroom so I think it'll look really sharp. What else did we get her? We're missing something. Hang on. <laughs> we weren't missing anything. It was just behind my fat butt. So we found another one of those like fake plants ish. Or looks like the tag's been taken off this one. This one was only like $12. And it's got this um like marble base. It's not marble though. It's again a really nice poly resin or something with the rocks in it. So, I think those little accents will be super super cute. Um, I think that's all we purchased for Gracie at Marshalls. Oh no, this one, this one's awesome. This is like the perfect way, cause I was like, Grace, this is really cute. Like with the green and the whites and the grays and a little bit of, you know, texture with the rock, the marble and the wood. But don't you think you need like a pop of color somewhere? Look at what we found. How wicked is that? <laughs> So I have some fake succulents we're going to put in her little dinosaur. How badass Brontosaurus in orange. I think it's going to be amazing. She has a lot of like succulent and little, oh, more like little vibes like this in her room already that we can reuse for the space. But oh, I think it's going to be perfect. Um, I found a chair that I want to get her from Marshall's as well. It's one of those like, um, oh, it's so hard to explain. You'll see it in the room makeover. But I think what we need to do is find like a funky pillow with this pop of orange in it as well. That way there's just a few subtle pops of color. It's going to be stellar. And then while I was there... I picked up a frame because we're having our Mother's Day, annual Mother's Day photos done. My girlfriend, Angela, is a photographer out my way. She's going to do our family photos. So I picked up this really pretty frame that will match the bathroom. Look at how cool this print is. with the old school Ferris wheel in it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because of the light and the glare, but that would be a really cool print. And it's got this rope and everything in the dollhouse is kind of like nautical and vintage-ish. So that would look really cute in the bathroom with our 8x10 family photo of Girls Club in it. I'm going to move all this stuff so you guys can see somehow. Grabbed a few other things I just couldn't resist because I have been looking high and low for something for the table, like our kitchen dining room table ish. I have something for fall, I've got something for winter. I even have this like Easter bunny cake plates, adorable little spring thing. I want something just generic. That I don't have to, oh, what, we had a bowl for the longest time, and it had a couple candles in it with, you know those, like, wooden decorative balls and potpourri and stuff in it? But man, oh, man, wouldn't the kids take their earrings off at the dinner table, chuck them in there, pocket change on their way to the laundry, chuck it in there. It was like a collect-all for the kids' shit, <laughs> and I absolutely hated it. You'd have friends that over for dinner and they'd all be sitting around and you're like, oh, I really hope they don't look in the decorative bowl on the table because God only knows what's in there. Probably half-assed chewed gum. 
you never know when it comes to kids. So I, I like the look of that, but functionally, no thanks. It just doesn't work. So I found this. I haven't put it on the table yet, and now that I'm looking at it, I'm a little scared it might be too small. Ah, oh, damn it. This is $16.99. If not, it would also look awesome in Grace's room, I suppose. But it's just this little thing of greenery. Like, just plain white with fake... I don't know what this is. I thought that would be awesome. But now that I'm looking at it, it seems like way too small for our dining room table. Huh. I'm going to have to either get creative and add something to it. Or maybe we'll just use it in Gracie's room because she's got lots of shelves too that she wants to incorporate in her room. And last but not least, I found this for my bedroom. I thought this was super cute and super springy. I might repaint the drawer to a different color. I haven't decided. Or I might whitewash it a little bit with some white chalk paint and just mm, make it look a little bit better. But look how cute that is. So this one was $16.99 at Marshall's and this one was only $14.99 at Marshall's. That's the little drawer. Can you even see that? It's like a little drawer full of rose petals. Rosebuds. So cute, so cute, right? So that's it, folks. That's my Marshall's haul for the middle spawns bedroom makeover, as well as just a few odds and sods for the rest of the dollhouse. Thanks so much for watching. Also, comment down below. Do you guys love Marshall's? I try and stay away from there because it costs me a small fortune. <laughs> but it is exciting when you get to you know, when you move somewhere, or you buy a house, and you finally get the room starting to piece together, you know, how you can kind of always envision it would be. It's nice when you start checking them off that list of, okay, this room's done. On to the next project. So that's it, folks. I will see you in my next video. We have, um, what else is it? Bed Bath & Beyond haul coming up. A Walmart haul coming up for like our outdoor seasonal deck extravaganza bonanza. So stay tuned. Lots of things to come. Bye for now.